In order to produce the hatch, it's a complicated feature, but um, shouldn't take too long when we do it with a video. First of all, the hatch button is right here in the draw menu, and it will pop up and say hatch, although mine is currently off the screen, but yours will work okay. And in 2009, when you click on hatch, um, sorry, let's try that again. In 2009, when you click on hatch, there we go, it creates this kind of a window. You'll see a number of options that come up. The first option we want to change is we want to change it to a solid color. Leave it as by layer, which currently is black. And then the first thing we want to do is pick points. And this is the interesting one. When you click on it, the window will disappear. And we want to click, I'm just going to zoom in here. We want to click in the area where we want it to show. You'll see a dotted line now appears around that area. When you're finished choosing areas, press enter on your keyboard. This will come back. And now you'll just click OK. And you'll see it's now filled in. You can also do this for multiple areas, although please be careful because undoing is significantly more difficult. And when I pick my points, I'll pick this. Uh, oh, I did not want that one. So I'll pick my points and I'll pick this one and that one and this one and this one and that 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 one. So you can see I've made a bunch of points that inside of areas that I want to be shaded and now when I do this they're all shaded. If you get them wrong then just simply click uh, in the area where they are and then you can just press delete and you can try again.